there friends welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world i welcome you once again to this particular news session thank you for reaching out thank you for coming around thank you for liking this channel and liking our content thank you for all you do we appreciate you thank you for dropping by the comment section to also leave your thoughts kindly keep them coming they are interesting and we appreciate you guys uh, I'd like to quickly crave your indulgence to subscribe to this channel. Please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. All right, guys. Oshimole allegedly in coma after receiving the news of his suspension as the APC national chairman. Unbelievable. Adam Oshimole has been said to be in coma after receiving the news of his suspension as the national chairman of the APC. The breaking news that has been released online has it that the national chairman of the ruling party, the All Progressive Congress APC, Adam Sushumole, has been in shock after receiving the news of his chairmanship suspension by the Abuja Court of Appeal. According to the report, which was headlined Breaking, Ushumole allegedly in coma after appeal court's judgment. Ushumole was allegedly in coma after receiving the bad news. It has been made, attempts has been made to confirm this story, but to no avail as at the time of filing this report. Reports also has it that, on, has it that earlier on the new development amid the APC Edo crisis, that an Abuja High Court of Appeal, sorry, an Abuja Court of Appeal has endorsed Oshimole's suspension as the APC chairman. You will recall that if FCT High Court had on March 4 granted an application by six members of the APC in Edo State suspending Oshomole from office. A three-member panel of justices led by the President of the Court of Appeal, Justice Monika Dongbang Mensem, held that Oshomole's appeal challenging his suspension was unmeritorious. Today's judgment by the Court of Appeal in Abuja came on the same day Governor Godwin Obaseki of Edo State resigned his membership of the APC after meeting with Professor Ibrahim Gambari, the Chief of Staff to President Muhammad Buhari at the Villa. Adam Soshomale has been at fierce political loggerhead with the Edo State incumbent Governor. Godwin Obaseki, which resulted to Obaseki's dumping of the APC party and allegedly joining the PDP. Well guys, it is what it is. What are your thoughts concerning this? Could it be true? Could it be possible that uh, Adam Sushumole has gone into coma? Well, if it is true, then uh, it is really, really sad and unfortunate. It is really, really sad and unfortunate for Adam Sushumole. Now, the, the, what this is telling us and teaching us is that nobody should um, celebrate the downfall of anybody and nobody should um, act as a lord over um, another person regardless of uh, what is uh, happening. You recall that the, the suspended or progressive Congress APC National Chairman Adam Sushumole has vowed legal action or had vowed legal action should the main opposition party PDP field Obaseki as the gubernatorial flag bearer. Ushumole said, or he said this while reacting to the embattled Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseki's resignation from APC and his likelihood of contesting for governorship under the PDP platform. Adam Sushumole described Obaseki's action as good readings to bad rubbish. He had threatened to take the matter to court if by any chance the PDP viewed him as their flag bearer. Oshomole had reiterated that it was the same PDP who had taken Obaseki's case to court on grounds of traces of certificate forgery when he contested for governorship mm -hmm. under the auspices of the All Progressive Congress. Adam Oshomole also added that the APC managed to pull through the court case because PDP did not present the evidence on time and the case was struck out. He vowed that if the same Gordon Obaseki comes up or comes back to contest for governorship, the APC will adopt PDP's submissions in the court and add more forgery evidence that they have come to 
realize. With the current resignation of Godwin Obasiki from APC, there are signs that the PDP will adopt him. There are signs that PDP will adopt him. This is because the PDP had, on Friday, June 5th, screened the aspirants, namely Omorege, Ogweide, Ihama, Godwin Ikine, and Kenneth Imaswabon. However, their planned notification has been delayed and has been rescheduled to hold today, the June 17th of June. This may have been delayed due to the party's plan to give a waiver to Obaseki. Godwin Obaseki had re resigned from the APC due to the rumblings in the party, which many have described as conflict of interest. Obaseki himself has said he decided to leave his current party because it is a predatory of political godfathers. He added that no talk will dis dis uh, disrupt his goodwill for the people of his state. Uh, do. So guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? If it is true that uh, you know, uh, Oshomale you know, is in shock, or has allegedly gone into shock as a result of his suspension, then it is unfortunate. We are, we are not celebrating it, but it is really, really sad and unfortunate. Probably for him to have received the shock or, or gone into shock after receiving the news, you know, would have meant that uh, he, he has been dealt a huge blow on his plans to frustrate Godwin Obaseki or on of his plans to actually install the next governor of Edo State. But be that as it were, you know, it is still subject to confirmation if truly it is uh, he's into he has gone into shock or not. Well, but uh, this the news on, uh, should not come to him as a surprise. If you would ask me, this is my personal view. If you ask me, the news sh shouldn't come to him as a surprise because this loggerhead between himself and Edo State Governor Obaseki has been going on for over a year, and he should have expected that you know the all they would uh, mm -hmm. actually. They would uh, explore loopholes here and there, you know, to actually address issues or to see how they can, uh, you know, uh, outsmart him. So if he is actually a master strategist, as he has claimed, you know, he, then the, the news shouldn't come to him as a shock. Just as he actually has dealt a blow to other people, he also should have expected that he also might uh, be dealt some blows as you lose some you win some and you lose some he cannot win all the things or everything at the same time don't forget that he has tra he threatened Oshomo, uh, obasiki with legal action well that is not the case now that he's no longer the apc chairman he has been suspended what happens to obasiki and what happens to the party will he be able to influence the party's decision will he be able to influence those who are in charge or who are going to take over his reign of national uh, uh, chairmanship at the national level what would uh, the president say concerning it well it remains to be seen let's quickly take a few reactions let's hear, hear what people are saying another person says which legal is Oshomole talking about or which legal aid is Oshomole talking about is he a member of the pdp which interest is he protecting Oh, someone should remind him that he is a former chairman of the APC. PDP have a right field any time, any, have the right to field anyone they so wish to field as a party. Well, it's what it is. Charles Trikura says, Hushomala's suspension is good regions to bad rubbish. Kama has caught up with him. The law of equity says that he who comes to equity must come with clean hands. Well, it is what it is. Abiz Som says, that's politics for you. When PDP filed the case, what did you do? Did you dump Obaseki? Same thing. PDP and Edo people won't dump him. Soon EFCC will come after you. Well, it remains to be seen. And Abiz says, let him go ahead. But Obaseki will win at the end. Okay, guys, what do you think? Charles Bright says, Adams, go and hide your face in shame before small boys will slap you again. Well, Mwokolo Charles says Obaseki will purchase the PDP form with only primary and secondary school certificate. Ushomoles Mumu don't do. Okay, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? How do you see what is going on? Well, it is what it is. 
let's keep our fingers crossed and see how things unfold can you drop out the comment section let's know what your thoughts are don't forget to subscribe to this channel please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories thank you so much guys i appreciate your support and i'll see you on the other news thank you and bye for now thanks guys